Hi everyone, so today I have this new set that Dye Press brought to HSN to try out it is the Be Mine Slimline dies with stamps and I'm curious because it's in this smaller packaging but it does say Slimline so there'll be something fun to make it that way and uh, these items were sent free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own any links in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission if you were to purchase items to those links I am a fan of when they do this <laughs> okay uh, I think not too long ago, well, they had um, like a fall theme type that was like this. I believe it was a fall theme. That is really, really cool. So let's check this out. So again, cutting folder, if you have the marquee, that'll go through the marquee. If you don't own a marquee, you can still use, of course, the thin metal dies. Do any machine that cuts thin metal dies and vice versa. We have stamp sets and we have the instructions with full color, which I always love. And yeah, so that's kind of what they're going for. You want to get yourself a three and a half by eight and a half inch uh, piece of paper. Of course, that's what I consider a standard slimline, so it'll cover the whole front. And then you pop in your pieces wherever it is that you want to put them. And it looks really great. So let's see. Let me measure these dies just so you have an idea. Of course, they're going to fit in within that three and a half inches. So they're, I would say, edge to edge, because these are like inlay dies, you know, so it doesn't come out of the paper as you can see it stays attached so the design itself will be about three inches wide or so and oh look at this one <laughs> so funny because it looks like a cover plate and you think oh it's going to cut but no it's an inlay so we have these this beautiful decoration um love you i will find out what this says on the back there but i think it says happy valentine's day is what it looks like we have the beautiful floral the little hearts and then we have like a stitched heart a smaller one little hearts XOXO, love, and the arrow. Oh my gosh. And then let's look at the um, stamp sets that accompany this. All the, all the heart eyes for you. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Uh, will you be my Valentine? Happy Valentine's Day. Sorry, yeah, so then we have all the little hearts. Super cute. Um, oh, I wonder if you can even put this one, pair with that one. They look about the same, right? This one's a little bit larger. We'll see. And over here we have... Uh, from the heart, I love you, sending you lots of... Okay, and then hugs and kisses, and um, be mine, Valentine. <laughs> so I initially looked at this, I'm like, be mine, Valentine, be mine, Valentine. Be my Valentine, okay, be mine, Valentine. So cute, very sweet. So let's look at the instructions. So again, like I said, you're just going to pick a couple of them and pop them on there. The reason you leave this one open is so that you can do your sentiment if you would like or whatever else. Maybe top Sorry, I keep, mi I keep misspeaking today. Um, so yeah, so uh, it's meant to go ahead and put your top and your bottom, whatever it is that you want to pick for those. The same one twice, you know, mix and match them. Um, and then you can put your little sentiment there. And I think you can also probably put the third, maybe some of these in there. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, right here. So we have the little flowers, Happy Valentine's Day, or like this one with the little hearts background, this one stamped, this one has the die cut. Um, again, stamped, you know, adding some uh, different toppers with our little hearts and things. Oh, the other direction, <laughs> however does you want to play with that. Really great. So let me grab some paper and we will get to it. Okay guys, so recently I've been really into tone on tone cards and I think this is going to be really fun. A lot of die cutting and I think it'll look really pretty. So I have this really soft kind of pink paper here and it's just your standard A2 size paper and I'm going to cut it for a slim line. So it's already eight and a half. We want to cut it at seven inches. There we go. And that leaves us a piece that's about four inches wide. Now um, I know it says to cut your piece of paper at three and a half by eight and a half, but I like a little bit, just a little bit of border. So I'm going to cut mine a little bit smaller. And this is not anything you need to do. Um, you definitely want to make yours uh, obviously as wide that it can take this and not, you know, cut off the edge because then it won't be doing what it's supposed to do, right? It'll just have it all open over here. So like I said, this is like three and an eighth. So I'm going to cut down my paper. Usually it's three and a half, right? Three and a half by eight and a half. And this thing needs at least three and an eighth or so. Uh, I'm going to go three and three eighths. I know it's hardly anything, but I do like a little border. So I'm going to do three and three eighths. So that means on the eight and a half side, I'm going to go eight and three eighths. It's just the smallest amount that's going to mat over that. If you... Um, don't want to do that then no do the eight and a half by three and a half that's fine 
it's still the same procedure, but I'll just do it a little bit differently. And then we're going to have this guy and score it at three and a half inches on the seven inch side. And this is really thick, like 110 pound paper, so I like to give it a few scores. Butt it up against this ridge here so that hopefully my card will be nice and straight. And that's what I'm saying, I barely took anything off of this. As you can see, it's just going to mat in there. Just give it a little bit of a ridge, especially because I'm doing tone on tone. I like to give as much texture to that as I can. And okay, so <laughs> I am going to use this one. Actually, I just chose it, but I, I'm going to use this one. I'm also going to use the hearts. I think that'll be fun. And then I think I'm simply just going to cut XOXO. I love that sentiment and pop that on there, but let's see. So you can put it this way, you can put it this way, or put this one this way, and up at the top put it the other way, which is probably what I'll do. Just have a little fun with it. And as you're looking at this, I mean, you know, pop it in wherever you like if you want them closer to each other. Um, again, let me just measure this for you. I don't really think you need to do any math, but these are, if you're looking at this, two and, f and uh, five eighths. You know, just about here, just about there. And then let's say this third one up here. So what I'm going to do is just give myself a little room here on the edge. And then wherever the center one ends up, I'll just leave it there. So that's kind of what I'm, instead of doing math, I'm just going to leave this here with like an eighth of an inch all around. Again, it's going to look different for you if you are using the, um, the three and a half by eight and a half measurements. And so I'm just going to place that. I don't want that to move. And I'm going to use a folder, even though this comes with the folder. And just so you know, even though this is slimline, you can still put them in here, you know, even if I wanted to run these two at the same time. I'll do it on the second pass. Um, they would still fit perfectly fine. But for this one, I'm going to run this one, and then I'm going to turn it around, and we'll run this one in the middle when I run this one, okay? So for now, I'm just going to run this one through. And I was just going to use a well-loved folder, just so you guys can see that it doesn't have to be a brand new folder, and if you want to flip it or however. And when I do something like this, I usually get right to the end. You can put, 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 yeah, you can put it all the way inside, too, if you would like, but I usually just go like there. I'm going to run it through very carefully, slowly for the camera. Ooh, so nice. Okay, I want to do this carefully. This can definitely make you a very nice um, shaker card. And especially depending on how much edge you have. Usually with a shaker, I like to have like a quarter inch around the edge. But we we'll have that. Let me clean up, and then we're going to reposition this. Okay, so I clean up a bit. And again, we have this one here. So if you want your flower to be in a different spot, you know, kind of so they're accenting each other, or you can have it here, it'd be exactly the same. But on this side, I'm going to go ahead and turn mine. And I'm going to, uh, again, eyeball my about an eighth of an inch all around. And then I'm going to place this one. And that's what, how I will judge where this needs to go. Of course, if you're stamping, you can stamp. You can use the precision press. You can just stamp it or whatever it is. Or if you have die cuts that you want to pop in there. Um, but for this one, I'm going to go like this. And I'm just kind of eyeballing here to there. Maybe this way a little bit more. And I'll tape that down. And I'll run them both through. just as before. Oh, I'm not sure where I placed my other little cutting folder. You know, things start happening. I place things here and there, <laughs> but place that in there and I'll run it through. Okay. And again, I'll just clean this up. Now we're going to have all these little hearts that we can use on other things if you want to keep them. <laughs> Pop out here. Look at that. So I'm going to clean that up and clean this side up. And what I mean by that is just use my little bristles to pop that out. Now I'll be right back. So I'm going to bring back my card base again, tone on tone, and just that little bit of edge all around. 
So, as I do with anything else, I'm just going to come in with my glue and place it where I think it really, oopsie, needs to be placed in all the larger sides, of course. And then I'll go in and anything larger in here that I think should just have a little something in the back of the flowers, here and there, just to help hold that down, whatever catches. And then here I'll just kind of do, 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 just travel through there. Go ahead and get that glue. Okay, I'll do the same thing for this other piece, and I'm just going to lay it centered over this. And I just laid that carefully. I started with this side and I just kind of brought it over this way. And I'm going to run through the XOXO through some black paper because I like the starkness of the black, and I will be right back. Okay. So pretty. We have our XOXO. Oh, I love that. Nice and clean. Super pretty. Um, what I think is I'll add possibly even the hearts and the arrows. So let me look through my stash as far as papers that I might be able to cut with those. And I'll do a white arrow for sure. The heart will probably be a red, maybe a dark pink. We'll see. But I'll use this guy, I think. Okay, I'll be right back. So I cut some red hearts. I'm just kind of laying it out and see what I might want to do with it. Oh my gosh. You guys. So cute. Okay. And then, of course, you can put it in a fun way, too. However it is that you want to play with that. Um, let me think about it. Let me arrange these a little bit, and I'll be right back. Yeah, you know, I think I want to do something like this. What I'm going to do is take a moment to put um, dimensional adhesive on the back of the XOXO. And it does have wider areas where you can do that pretty easily. So I'll put what I can here and there, behind here. And then these little guys will be here. So let me just glue this together. So pretty. I use like a pearlescent white paper. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see it in real life pretty well. And I'll glue these down when I'm ready. So I'm going to turn this over. And I'll probably use 3D glue gel. So what I'm going to do is take like a pointy tool, if I can find one, <laughs> and um, just put the, the glue on the back. And again, if you just have dimensional adhesives, you can just cut the little chunks, you know, and put them on there. But I'm going to do something like this. Take a little bit. Put it like there. And then put more here, some here, some here, maybe there. Okay, just place it strategically and I'll bear so back. So I'm using 3D glue gel. Once I place it, I really can't move it too much from there. So what I'm going to do is remove these guys. Place this and then just tuck that in as I feel like the other little accent pieces. But if you're using dimensional adhesive, you can definitely see what you're doing. You know, glue this guy down, then place those back on top. And I'm just going to put this in there. And same thing with my little heart. Super easy, clean, die cut only card here. Thank you so much, Dime Press for sending these items for review. Um, again, these are currently available. I'll have the links in the description box. And I just love the look of that. It's so clean and so pretty. All right, guys, I'll see you at the next one. I'll have some images coming up. Bye now.